it's got one flaw that just might be a deal breaker for you but Wosted Nightshade is awesome this last sentence pretty much sums up this review but don't go away yet because I'll tell you why exactly I love this knife In my last video I told you I'll review only the things I would personally go out and buy myself. And this thing, this thing I'd buy in a heartbeat. So I've been using the Nightshade for the last couple of weeks and it straight up replaced my Spyderco Indora in uh, ZDP which I've been carrying for the last 5 or 6 years. And right now these are the only two folders I have which well says something. Now off to some specs, uh, it comes in a really premium packaging, you get a uh, pouch which is inside a uh, tin case which is inside a cardboard box. The blade is 3.25 inch, it's made of 154 cm, the handle is made out of G10, the liners are skeletonized and it's packed with cool details. Now to address the elephant in the room, the design of this thing is really unique. It's one of those designs you have to try to appreciate just how good it is. You can tell that it's made by a company that makes culinary knives because the blade shape is just awesome. The blade is ground really thin, it's got a rounded spine, it's got jimping that is just perfect. Uh, you can feel it, but it doesn't scrape your thumb. It's definitely not one of those sharpened pry bars many companies make. And that crazy blade shape is just awesome for cutting things and uh, fruit prep. It just... I don't know, it's something about the blade shape they just... It wants to cut. <laughs> it really wants to cut. The handle on this thing is nice and thick and actually feels like a knife and not like a benchmade bug out which is a great knife but I just never could get used to it being so thin and lightweight. Now back to the nightshade it's got a skeletonized liners and it's a liner lock which engages at about one third of the blade. Uh, there's absolutely no blade play in any direction and uh, did I mention it runs on ball bearings because it does runs on ball bearings and the action is just buttery smooth like perfect now I know I make this knife sound perfect but it's got one flaw that just might be a deal breaker for you the pocket clip is only right side tip up carry which well I assume most guys use, but if you're a lefty or prefer tip down carry or something like that, well then I'm sorry, this knife is not for you. As I said before, the blade is made out of 154 cm and as far as I can know the heat treat is good. Uh, I've used it for a couple of weeks now and still didn't need to sharpen it. And that pretty much sums it up. It's a really uniquely looking knife with awesome features and I love using it. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Stay frosty my friends. Cheers. <laughs> Not uh, perfect. Now I know I'm... Now I know. Now I know this might. Now I know this. Uh, <coughs> now I know uh, the. Just awesome for. And that. Tip, it's got a ride, ride, round, 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 round. Now, you can tell that it's made by company. The <coughs> now, <of> the <laughs>
In my last review, was was the nightshade 